Hey there, I'm Michael. Take a seat and join us for a two-player game of Inish by Matago. Here is the table set up for a two-player game. I'm going to be the blue clan here, and playing with me as the orange clans is going to be Pixel. And the two randomly drawn territories for the start of the game, we have the forest and the valley. So the advantage cards for those, the forest is a Triskel card, and after you play an epic tail card, you can play this to draw an epic tail card. And the valley is again a Triskel card, and this you play after you play a season card. Then you can place one clan in a territory where you are present. And we have randomly determined that our Bren will be me for the start of the game. And I would like to place the capital in the valley. So the valley is our capital. And then starting with me, I get to place a clan. I'm going to place one in the valley. Pixel is then going to place one in the valley. So I'm going to go again in the valley and then pixel will go for the forest our first assembly phase and the first thing we do is to see who is chieftain of the capital which is me with two clansmen compared to pixels one so i stay as the bren then we check to see if anyone has won the game of course they haven't at this stage then we get our advantage card. So as Chieftain of the Valley, I get the Valley card and Pixel is Chieftain of the Forest, so she'll get the Forest card. Then if we were playing with more than two people, we'd flip the Flock of Crows token. As there's just two of us, we don't do that. So the next thing to do is for the Bren, which is me, to shuffle up the action cards and then put one aside and deal free to each player. And the free cards I was dealt, we have the Sanctuary, which is a season card and allows you to place one Sanctuary in a territory where you are present and draw an Epic Tail card. The Bard, which is either a season or a Triskel card. As a season, you draw an Epic Tail card. As a Triskel, after one of your maneuvers removes one or more opposing clans, gain one deed token. And then the Druid, which is a season card, which if the Druid is the last action card in your hand, you cannot use it. However, otherwise you can look at the discarded action cards and add one to your hand. So I'm gonna draft that card and pass these two to Pixel. And she passes me Warlord and Conquest. So Warlord, is either a season or a triscal. The season effect is initiate a clash in a territory where you are present with you as the instigator. The triscal effect, during a clash with you involved, after a maneuver is performed, place one explo exposed clan in this territory and choose who performs the next maneuver. Conquest is just a season and you choose one territory, you may move any number of your clans from territories adjacent to this chosen territory into it. So I then also have the Druid, so I'm picking two of these cards now. Well, I'm keeping the Druid. And of the other two, I think I prefer the flexibility of the Warlord here being able to be used as a Triskel. So we'll go for that one and we will give Pixel Conquest back. And the card she gives us back is the Bard. So we set these to the side, we'll be having those for this round. But then we deal each player three more action cards and we do the draft again. So this time we have Craftsmen and Peasants, which is a season card. In each territory where you are present, you may place one clan for each citadel in that territory. Citadel, place one citadel in a territory where you are present. 
If that territory's advantage card has not been played, add it to your hand. And exploration, the Bren chooses an empty location adjacent to two territories, draw one new territory and place it there. Then place one clan in this new territory. So I kind of want all of these, but I know I can't get them all or I'm unlikely to get them all. I think the safe bet is to break these two up because they're quite powerful together. So I think I'm going to go for the craftsmen and peasants and plus exploration and citadel to pixel. And pixel passes us migration, a season card. Choose one territory, move one or more of your clans from the chosen territory to one or more adjacent territories. And new clans, place two clans in any territories where you are present. Both clans can be placed either in the same territory or in different territories. So we now get to pick two of what's here. And I'm not particularly interested in migration. I've already got an attacky card, so I don't really want another one. So we'll get rid of that one and we'll keep those two. So that goes to Pixel. And then she gives us back Citadel. Then it's on to the Seasons phase, and as the Bren, I'm going first. Now, I have a plan, but I can't do that plan with the way things are at the moment. So I'm actually going to pass. Now, this is very risky, because if Pixel passes, the Season phase ends, and I lose all the action cards I have. But most likely, there's stuff she wants to do at this stage as well, so she won't pass. So I'm going to take the risk. I am passing. And Pixel is going to play New Alliance. Now, this is a card we did not see when drafting, so it must have been one of the first ones she took. It has two season options. In a territory where you are present, either place one clan, or choose an opponent with two or more clans in this territory, and replace one of his clans with one of yours. So she's going to do it in the valley, so I lose a clanman, and she gains one. And as she's played a season card, that's her turn over, it's over to me. And I am going to play new clans, so I can place two clans in territories where I am. So I go one, two, then Pixel plays Exploration. So the Bren chooses an empty location adjacent to two territories and then Pixel gets to draw one new territory and place it there. So I, as the Bren, I'm going to pick there. She draws a territory and we get the hills and she's going to place it, she's going to place it there. And she gets to place one of her clans in it. And we then need to dig out the card, the advantage card for the hills. So what does this say on it? It's a Triscoll card. When an attack manoeuvre is performed against you in the hills, ignore the attack. You do not remove a clan or discard an action card. So no one has that presently though. I will then play Warlord. So, initiate a clash in a territory where you are present, which is going to be the valley here. And so I initiate the clash, but Pixel plays Gias. When an opponent plays an action card, you play this and ignore the effect of the action card just played and discard it. Meaning my go is neutralised, and it's back to Pixel, who feels there should be a Sanctuary in the forest here. So she's going to play Sanctuary, placing a Sanctuary in the forest, and then she also draws an Epic Tail card. I'm then going to play the Druid to look at the discard pile, and add one to my hand, which is going to be the Warlord card, which is the one I tried to play on my last turn. Pixel will then play the Epic Tail card that she just drew, the Champion's Share. Add the action card that was set aside during the assembly phase to your hand. 
and she'll use her forest advantage card that uh, allows her to draw an epic tale card after playing an epic tale card. Then I will once again play the warlord card to instigate a clash. So the first step of the clash is the citadel step. So as the instigator I can't go in, the pixel clans though can, so she'll start by having one go in there so that I haven't managed to kick her out of the territory. And that's the only citadel available. So we move to the resolution step. So starting with me as the instigator, I perform a manoeuvre. And the manoeuvre I wish to perform is attack. Or I suppose we could have peace, but no, I want to attack. So I'm going to attack and Pixel has to get rid of a card or a unit and Pixel will discard the Conquest card. It's then her turn for a manoeuvre. She asks me if I want peace. Nah. Chaos. So, manoeuvre. Now, she could withdraw her unit to one of the neighbouring territories. Or she could attack me back. And she's going to attack me. So I lose a unit, and we can once again potentially have peace, but I want to attack Pixel. So my manoeuvre is going to be attack, and Pixel will discard the migration action card. So it's back to Pixel. I'm starting to get a bit outnumbered here. Are we going to have peace, or is she going to attack? Well. She's going to ask for peace, but I'm going to deny it. So she has the chance she could withdraw to either the hills or the forest. She, she is chieftain of both. But if she kills one more of mine, then she'll be chieftain of the valley. And that'll make her Bren. So she is going to attack. And I lose a unit. Then to me, and I'm not even going to give her the offer of peace, I am attacking and she will lose the festival action card rather than the unit and she already has the majority control so she's going to offer peace but i i really don't want peace i want to keep keep fighting so she is going to attack me and i don't want to lose my last guy so I'm going to have to give up an action card, so I'll give up the Citadel action card. And it's back to me. And no offer of peace here. I am attacking. She has no action cards left. She loses her unit. Meaning I can play the Bard. So after one of your manoeuvres removes one or more opposing clans, gain a deed token. So I have a wild towards the end game conditions. And I'm the only one left. I can't withdraw, there's no one to attack. So the combat is over. And Pixel comes out of the citadel. Now I'm going to use the valley because I played the season card to initiate the attack. I think it was the warlord card which allows me to place one clan in a territory where you are present. So I'm still Bren of the Valley, just. And it's now Pixels go, and she will pass. Which isn't surprising, she's only got one Epic Tail card in hand. And I just have one card left, so I might as well play it, which is Craftsmen and Peasants. So for each territory I'm in, well, I'm only in the Valley, for each Citadel, and there's only the one, I get to place a clan, so one clan in the valley. Pixel will then pass again, and I'll also pass this time, making it the end of the seasons phase and the end of the round. So we go back round to the beginning of the assembly phase, starting with determining our Bren, which is me. Then we would check to see if anyone's won, but no one took pretender tokens, so they can't possibly be winning. And then it's advantage cards. Then our chieftains 
for the advantage cards, I get the valley again, but Pixel is getting both the forest and the hills. So then dealing out three cards to each of us, I end up with Conquest, Exploration and Migration. So Conquest is choose a territory and you may move any of your clans from territories adjacent into the one you choose. Exploration is the one where you can put out a new location. And Migration is the one where you move people from a single territory into adjacent territories. So I'm going to go for Exploration. So I pass these to Pixel and I get back new alliance and new clans so i'm then picking from those and exploration two of them well i think potentially new clans is more useful at this point allowing me to place two and i'll keep with the exploration so i'll give her back new alliance and she then gives me back conquest then the next three cards for the draft are citadel Festival and Warlord. I never got to use the Citadel last time and I would have liked to. Although Festival would allow me to place more people out. And Warlord has the flexibility. No, I think I'm going to go Citadel. And we'll pass these to Pixel. And she passes us Bard and Craftsman and Peasants. So of these, what do I want to take two of? We'll see the Craftsman and Peasants works well with the Citadel card. So I think I'm going to go for those two because they work well together and I'll give her back the Bard. And I get back Warlord. So that's my six cards and it's on to the Seasons phase. And I'm going to start the season off aggressively with Conquest. So choose one territory, you may move any number of your clans from territories adjacent to this chosen territory into it. And I'm going to choose the forest here and invade from the valley. And I'm going to move, I'm just going to move the one person, do I want to just move one? No, I'm going to move two people in. So clashes there's no citadels for her to run away to here so we move straight to resolution and before i perform my maneuver i can make an offer of peace now do i want to do this yeah i i don't see why i shouldn't make an offer of peace i will make an offer of peace Will Pixel accept my offer of peace, however, is another matter. Yes, she will accept my offer of peace, so the clash ends. And Pixel will then play New Alliance. And she's going to use the where there's two, replace one. Giving her back control of the forest there. I'm then going to build a citadel in the forest. And, and the forest advantage card has not been played, so Pixel gives it to me. I will then use the valley card to place one clan in a territory where I'm present. And I'll go in the forest here. Then it's Pixel's turn, and she feels the hills are a little barren. So she's going to build a sanctuary there, which also means she gets to draw an epic tail card. Then I'm going to enlist the help of some craftsmen and peasants. So in each territory where I'm present, I may place one clan for each citadel in that territory. So each of these has one, so I get one clan in each. Pixel will then use the druid to sift through the discards, taking Sanctuary. I will then go on an exploration to find new lands. And I find, well, as the Bren is going there, and I find the Cove. So I'll put it like that, I think. 
And the Cove's card is Triscoll. After you play a season card, take the action card that was set aside during the assembly phase and add it to your hand. Then set aside one action card from your hand. And I get to place a clan there. Then Pixel wishes to celebrate her new sanctuary in the hills with a festival. So, in a territory where both where you are present and that has one or more sanctuaries, place one of your clans. There we go. And the festival token. That's that. A player who initiates a clash in the territory removes one of his clans from there. Then for my go, um, though I do have control of the valley and forest, I am chieftain there, I only have one clan more in each, so I'm not very confident of holding that at the moment. So I'm going to play new clans so that I can place two clans in any territories where I'm present. So I'm going to go for one in each of those just to cement that hold. Pixel is then going to play an Epic Tail card. So this is a season card, it's draw three Epic Tail cards, add one to your hand and discard the others. So three and then she'll pick one to keep, two to discard and I will then pass. Then Pixel's clans in the hills here having their festival about their new sanctuary are so excited they're going to build a second sanctuary. And she gets an epic tail card. So it's back to me and I'm passing again. Then Pixel will play Bard to draw another epic tail card. I'll then pass again and so will Pixel so she gets rid of her remaining card. And it's back to the assembly phase. I'm still chieftain of the capital, and therefore still the Bren. And neither of us has pretender tokens yet, so no one has won the game. So we move on to advantage cards, so we need to give in the ones that we didn't use. I get the one for the cove up the top, and I get the one for the forest, and the valley. And Pixel gets the hills down the bottom. Drafting and my first three cards, we've got Exploration, Citadel and Conquest. I feel Exploration is probably the most useful to take out of those. And she gives us Craftsman and Presence and New Alliance. Hmm. I'll keep these two and I'll give her back New Alliance. Though I don't want her using New Alliance on me. So I think I'll keep New Alliance and give back Craftsmen and Peasants. And she gives me back Citadel. So that's our first free. Then the next free. Oh, Druid and Gias in the same hand. Oh, that's a difficult one. Uh, I think I'll go for the Druid. And give her these two. And we get back... Bard and new clans. So we've got Druid, Bard and new clans. Well, given that I have the forest card at the moment, which will allow me to draw an epic tale if I play an epic tale, it'd be useful to have an epic tale card. But also two, two clans is very powerful to give her. I think I'm going to go for the Bard. So the Druid and the Bard, and she can take the two clans. And then we get back. Migration. So that's our second free there, Druid, Bard and Migration. And I'm going to start the season again in an aggressive way. Um, that's going to give us some very tough choices, obviously, because we've got so many cards that we could discard, but we want to use them. So we're going to do Migration, choose one territory, move one or more of your clans from the chosen territory to one or more adjacent territories. So I'm going to pick the forest up here, I think. Yes, I'll pick the forest, and I will move three clansmen into the hills. So, before 
we start the killing and manoeuvres going on, I will give Pixel the opportunity of peace. I think it's only fair that I'm invading her lovely hills here filled with sanctuaries that I give her the offer of peace. Actually, she doesn't want that to happen. She's going to play Gias, cancelling my card, so I'm unable to migrate my people. But I'll then use the Cove, so after I've played a season card, I take the action card, set aside, and add it to my hand. And then I set aside a card. So the card that was set aside for your benefit was Warlord, and I'm just setting that one back aside. Pixel for foreseeing the migration and preventing it is going to have a festival in the hills again. Meaning she can place a person there. I'll then simply use a bard to draw an epic tale card. And I get a Nuade Silver Hand. And his ability is a season card. In each territory where you are the chieftain, you may place one clan for each opponent who is present in that territory. Pixel is then going to play an epic tale card. Dagda's Harp. For each epic tale card you have other than this one, which is free, place one clan in a territory where you are present. You can place at most free clans this way. So she's going to put out three clans and she's gonna go for three in the valley there. I will then use new alliance and I'll replace one of pixels with one of mine in the valley. Pixel will then play craftsmen and peasants so she'll place a clan in each territory where there is a citadel and she is present per citadel. I will then play exploration, exploring new lands and as the Bren I'm going to pick over here and we get out the plains. So I can place one clan there and the card for the plains says Move one or more of your clans from the plains to one or more adjacent territories. Pixel is then going to play new clans. Place two clans in territories where you are present. She only has two clans remaining. And she is going to place them both into the valley here. I am then going to use the druid to filter through the discards and get back new alliance. And I'll then also use the valley card to place one clan in a territory where you are present, which will be the valley. Pixel is then going to pass, so I'm going to play New Alliance to replace one of her clansmen with one of mine. And Pixel is going to play Log Samadhi, which means she gets to take the action card that was just played into her hand. And that was Triskel, not a season card, so it's her go. She will then play New Alliance, replacing one of mine with one of hers. Hmm, so there's not a lot I can actually do to try and achieve a win condition at this point. I mean, four territories. I've got one deed where there's two sanctuaries and I'm chieftain over three I need a way to become chieftain over more and the cards I have just won't get me that so what I'll do is I'll play silver hand so in each territory where you are the chieftain you may place one clan for each opponent who is there now this is a may and I'm already in control of the forest here. So I think what I will do, I'm not chieftain of the valley at the moment, so I can't play it to go into the valley. I think I'll save this guy so I've got him available to put in the valley if I get the opportunity. So, but that is then 
that card played and I can use the forest to be able to draw another epic tale card after you played one and hopefully this will be of some more use so the stone of fowl not that that was unuseful place two clans in the capital's territory well that's not completely unuseful but anyway it's pixels go now and pixel feels it's not good enough that the hills only has two sanctuaries so she's going to build a third one and that means she can draw an epic tail card so currently no one's meeting any win conditions pixel will be taking the Bren and taking over the valley but I'm not sure that's too big an issue at this stage she's still in chieftain of five there so I'm gonna pass for my turn Pixel will then play Conquest. So choose one territory and you may move any number of clans from adjacent territories. So she's going to leave one there and move two into the plains. And that will initiate a clash. So there's no citadels to hide in, so we're straight on to... The resolution step so does pixel wish to ask for peace yes she would love to have peace and it's because she'd then be chieftain over six of my clans if she was chieftain over this guy so no I will not accept peace she will then perform a maneuver and the maneuver she will perform is the Fianna so during a clash you play this as a maneuver move one or more of your clans either exposed or protected from the clashing territory to one adjacent territory this does not initiate a clash so these guys are going to go visit the cove next door and that means pixel is now chieftain over six of my clans one two three four five six which is one of the win conditions so I need to stop this, so I will play the Stone of Fowl, which will allow me to place clans in the capital territory. But Pixel will stop that. When an epic tail card or advantage card is played, ignore the effect on the card and discard it. So that cancels my attempt, and it's now Pixel's go. And her turn's pretty simple. She meets a win condition, so she's taking a Pretender token. Then it's my go, and the only card I've got in hand is Citadel, so I might as well use it, I guess, <laughs> and I'll place a Citadel in the cove. But that's not going to stop Pixel winning. Pixel's then going to play another epic tail card, this time Karunda Sanctuary. So in a territory both where you are present and that has no sanctuaries, place one clan and one sanctuary there. Well, she has no clans to place, but she can place a sanctuary in the cove here, which now means that she's meeting a second wind condition of six sanctuaries. And it's then my go, and I really want to stop her being able to win, but I have no cards to play, so I'm going to have to pass. And then it's Pixels go, and she's now out of cards, and there's no reason for her to do anything more, so she will pass too. Meaning it's the end of the season. First things first, we look at our capital in the valley here, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six orange, one, two, three, four, five blue, which means that Pixel is now the Bren. Then checking win conditions, well, firstly, Pretender tokens. Only Pixel has one. I don't have one, so I am not capable of winning. Pixel, though, is, and she's got one, two, three, four, five, six sanctuaries present where she is. She is also chieftain over one, two, three, four, five, six of my clansmen. So that's two win conditions met. 
to my zero, which means she wins, and she was even Bren, so even if I'd had the same number of her, she would have won. So a resounding win for Pixel there. And that's Inish. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel, as well as sharing and subscribing to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching, and bye for now.